It's the Christmas season. Time to relax in front of a nice, cozy fire. It's that time of the year when you unbury all the decorations in the attic and the garage. You put up the Christmas tree. You find that missing stocking with a reindeer on it. You clean out the gutters to string up the lights before the snow falls in your last dark house on the block. The kids have road games, early practices, that huge history project, and final test to study for, along with five different Christmas parties, and your son's extra holiday hours at his part-time job. When can he start driving again? Don't forget to write down the dates and times of the performances and rehearsals for the programs at church, at school, and at the senior center where they want you to come dressed up as an elf in tights. Then there's the shopping. Your son wants a new gaming system that can read his mind. Your daughter wants a doll that you're going to have to make payments on. Your sister's emailed you three times asking what you want for Christmas and why you haven't just set up an Amazon wish list already. Your spouse wonders whether the two of you should just get each other a new furnace for Christmas or maybe give the gift money to orphans in the Sudan. Then there's the secret Santa thing at work. What's a white elephant gift again, anyway? The school sent home a note saying half the kids have strep. Your spouse came home with a box of double extra strength cough medicine and a case of Kleenex boxes. You're pretty sure there's something wrong with that last piece of fruitcake you ate. And your daughter's so stuffy she looks and sounds just like Rudolph. Christmas is at your parents' house in Batavia this year, and at your wife's brother's place on the lake in Canandaigua, and at your aunt's home in Syracuse. If the weather's nice and the kids sleep in the car, you just might make it to all three. Your daughter insists that you drive down to the Liberty Pole because nothing says Merry Christmas like lights on a stick. Be sure and stop in at the office party, at least for a little while. Also, your small group wants you to set aside a special night of the week to do Christmas just with them. Oh, and can we do it at your house? Your boss needs you to get that project done before Christmas, even though he'll be out of town until January. And you need to cover for your coworker who spends every Christmas in Hawaii. Also, none of your contractors will answer the phone after December 15th. Plus, you need to make that green bean dish you're so good at for Christmas dinner, and that peppermint dessert all the kids love for the other Christmas dinner, and something gluten-free for Uncle Dale, and a backup ham in case your mom's stove blinks out again. Also, there's cookies and carols at the church on Saturday afternoon. Everybody bring two dozen. Oh, and don't forget, Jesus is the reason for the season. Merry Christmas.